Hey guys, it's Adi here, and this is going to be a video of a performance and boot speed comparison between the Lumia 1520 and the Nokia Lumia 630. So let's check it out. So of course the Lumia 1520 is the most powerful uh, Nokia out so far with its uh, quad core Snapdragon 800 2.2 gigahertz processor. So it is basically the benchmark for what you can get best in a Windows Phone device. While the Lumia 630 is a bit on the lighter hand. So let's check out the boot speed between the two and I'll give you the specs of the 630. So I'm going to power them both on three. One, two, three. And the Lumia 630 vibrated a fraction of a second faster. So, the Lumia 630 actually only has 512 gigabytes of RAM, which, uh, megabytes of RAM, sorry, 512 megabytes of RAM, which is the major uh, factor in concerns of what apps can run and what apps cannot run on it. And I know it's going to keep a lot of people worried. But in terms of the actual specs of the device, it has a 1.2 gigahertz Snapdragon 400 processor compared to, as we mentioned, the 2.2 gigahertz Snapdragon 800 of the Lumia 1520. And both devices have booted within time of each other, hardly a difference between the two. Now just so you guys know, the Lumia 630 is running Windows Phone 8.1, while the Lumia 1520 is running Windows Phone 8.1 Update 1 on the developer's preview, so it might be chalked up with some differences there. So the other thing I want to do is look at some app performance speeds. So if we fire up Facebook on both apps and see how long it takes for those to load, so right there, this is a Facebook beta on both, and uh, loading, let me 630 to load the Facebook feed slightly faster, different feeds of course since uh, Facebook's weird like that, but no real difference between the two. So if we can try that again, but with another app, say Twitter perhaps, sorry. So if we scroll down to the Twitter app and hit it on both simultaneously, see that the Lumia 630 gave, up, gave us that black screen while loading the app, and it's still loading it, and now it's loaded. So you can tell that there's a slight delay in app loading, you get the little black screen, sometimes you'll get a resuming screen, which is something you usually only see on 512 megabyte devices. So let's try jumping back into Facebook and multitasking. And uh, Facebook seems to have closed here, so we just had to open it up again. Interestingly, Facebook isn't seeming to respond in the background on the Lumia 630, which is not really cool. So if you had Windows Home... Yes. So for some reason, Facebook is not running in the background on the Lumia 630, or at least the Facebook beta isn't, which is kind of worrying and uh, not exactly a good start. So another app, of course, that we can check out is another fan favorite and, of course, a very essential app for a lot of people, which is uh, Instagram, but I like to use Six Tag by Rudy Hume, so let's check how fast that loads. So if we just tap on both, instant loading on both, both feeds refresh perfectly fine, no worries, head back home, head back home, let's see if we can back up into that, and no problems at all. So let's try loading Twitter again, since that's the one that isn't crashing on the 630. And it's nice to see that there isn't any of that black resuming screen right now on these lighter and more essential social apps, which at least makes the phone feel a lot faster and smoother, which is uh, a huge factor, of course. So another thing we can do is, of course, check the camera speed. And this is going to make a difference given the fact that the Lumia 630 only has a 5 megapixel camera and the Lumia 1520 has a 20 megapixel camera. So there's a lot more processing going on in the 1520's camera. And of course the 630 doesn't even have a physical camera button, so I'm going to have to launch them both from the apps. So the 1520's camera launched faster, much faster actually. Let's see how fast I take photos, so if I just... So... The 630, as you can tell, is still saving the photo. It's taking quite a while. And let's try that again. 
try that a third time and see how long that takes. And 6.30 sped up after the very slow delay in the first photo. Everything is now pretty fast and responsive in terms of the camera. And let's see if we get a resuming. We do not instant camera access once again. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's try running Cortana and see what happens there. So Cortana is pretty fast to resume. Let's try asking her a random question. How far is the sun? So I wanted to see if there's a difference in the processing of Cortana's questions. Miles. Miles. So there wasn't really a big delay between the questions and that's usually because Cortana's uh, uh, voice recognition is done online so it, none of it is really processed on the phone which is why it wouldn't really make much of a difference. I just wanted to try that out. So. I hope that gave you guys a slight idea of what the performance on the Lumia 630 is and if you guys want to check it out we'll just try typing a random message and see if there's any delay or lag in the keyboard so testing one two three testing as you can see the keyboard is quite responsive and we don't seem to have any delay issues which is good obviously. So that's pretty much it for the performance comparison between the Lumia 630 and the Lumia 1520. Um, as you guys probably noticed there isn't really much of a difference between the two especially is, except for like for example the Facebook app which was crashing in the background but in terms of general performance and stability and speed as we've grown accustomed to Windows Phone 8 and especially Windows Phone 8.1 are very fluid even on lower RAM devices such as the Lumia 630 which only has 512 megabytes. So in case you're worried about the performance of the phone, don't be. I hope you guys found the video useful. If you did, uh, leave a comment down below please and I'll see you guys around in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you around.